welcome to Habitat Now, uh, Habitat Central Arizona's uh, video podcast series. Uh, my name is Ryan Spillers. I am the Volunteer Services Manager, and I'm joined here today by one of our amazing team leaders, Michael Slater. Michael, thank Hello. you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, we have a very special little interview planned for everyone and just a couple quick questions. So if you're ready, we can dive on in. I'm ready. Okay, so this is a this is a toughie right off the bat. So just be prepared. Um, what initially got you involved at Habitat? Uh, originally, um, about 2000, my church up in Cheney, Washington, um, Hands for Habitat or Cheney Hands for Habitat up there. We did a project up there and helped on a house, and I really enjoyed that. Um, but then, about two years ago, I needed help with my house. I'm a disabled veteran. I have time but not money. Um, so your home services division helped me out to put a new roof on. So for that, I had to put in eight hours of sweat equity. Um, doing two days on two different jobs, I just, I loved it. My you fell in love with I it. I did. Um, I really did enjoy serving. And it's it's selfish of me to say this, but I'm doing it for me. It makes me <laughs> feel good. And it's just a great side effect that I'm helping a family as well. All right, so you have to, is it easier working outside here or working outside <laughs> up there in Washington? Well, they work summers and it's only about 80 as a high up there. So that's pretty nice. Yeah. Working winters down here isn't too bad. But this time of year, they're short days. Yes, they're as they should be, as they should be. <laughs> and that is a message to everyone that might be tuning in. If it hits 105, We're all done. sites are closed. <laughs> Michael spread that word like loud and clear on the yeah. sites, everyone. We're closing down 105. Yeah. It's just too hot. All right. So um, for our next question here, um, can you tell me about a time that uh, a family perhaps impacted you or, um, you know, if, if something else on site that drove you to just have a, a deeper connection with the story? It's so great to meet these people and to hear their story. Um, the uh, Muhammad and Medina from Ethiopia and, and we're building them a house. Um, they're a great family, and um, that's probably the family I've made the greatest connection with so far. They showed up almost every day, and they would joke with us all the time. They always wanted to work. They were the most energetic couple. Well, you're making a huge impact just by being there. So, I mean, that is, I mean, at its core is that you're building these homes for these families, whether or not you, you know them um, closely or not. It's just still making a huge impact, and it's felt. So to look into our next question here, you know, why do you keep or continue volunteering with Habitat? Another hard-hitting question. Well, as I said, this is selfish, but um, I'm a disabled veteran. Mm -hmm. I spend too much time at home alone. And this gets me out. It's, it's good for my mental health and my physical health to get out and do this. And it's something I'm able to do every other day for five hours. That's all I'm being asked to do. And then I can go home and rest if I'm sore. And some days I am. Okay. Uh, we have some days we work hard, but um, I just, I enjoy it. It's making me feel good inside. Well, so for our, our last and uh, most difficult question yet, uh, what about being a team leader um, has made the most impact to you? Well, I was in the military. I was an NCO. So leadership is just second nature to me. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with that. Um, instruction just comes second nature. When you know something, it's easy to pass that along and teaching reinforces it in you as well. You just, it, it, you get better and better at it. So um, I love leading people and helping them out. When I first joined my first shirt, I scratched out the leadership and wrote helper. <laughs> I was a team helper. I'm happy to help anybody and give them knowledge. <laughs> but I just didn't feel like I was a team leader at the time. I was very mm -hmm. new at still. So. Yeah. And, you know, we understand what, you know, there's folks here, uh, the volunteer leaders have been doing this for, I mean, a decade, two decades, and there's a whole lot to learn, you know, and um, we certainly think that you're a leader, you know, so, but I, I get the the respect of being a helper. I mean, if I, if I was out there, it'd take me like a decade plus before I would be willing to call the leader, but um, you really take it on by the horn. So it's, it's awesome seeing that. Well, so Michael, thank you so much for being here with us and thank you for joining us. Um, if you would like to learn more about volunteering at Habitat, 
check us out at habitatcaz.org backslash volunteering. Um, make sure to tune in for part two of our series um, coming up here soon. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. Bye, folks.